finished training in the javelin on the Friday. And Anthony goes, oh, do you want to go to a taekwondo session on Saturday? And I was like, Anthony, I said, I've never kicked a person in my life. I said, I'm going to be absolutely like shite. Do you know what I mean? I'm, going to, I'm not <laughs> going to do well at all. He went, oh, just give it a go. And I was like, okay, let's do this. You know, I said before, like, let's give it a go. I know I've not done it, but and if I'm crap, I'm crap, so be it. Mm. And then Why I walked in. Yeah, I walked in, kicked a few pads. And again, they must have saw something in me that I definitely probably didn't even yeah. see. <laughs> and they were like, right, okay, every month you come down now, you're going to split your time between javelin and taekwondo. And that's how that bit began. Mm. And then, like you said, COVID hit. So that was a bit of a whirlwind in itself mm. because I got to March, I'd left my job, hands in my notice. And then I went to move in April. Like I had the move ready because mm. I was moving to Cardiff. To Cardiff, yeah. I was moving in with lodgers who had never met, like pure spontaneous. And COVID hit. So I was unemployed at the beginning of COVID. And my parents honestly thought I was crazy. Like <laughs> we're in a pandemic. Bet they don't now. <laughs> <laughs> like, my dad says to me all the time, I'm glad you didn't listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> but he sat me down and was like, Do you think this is the best move, Beth? Like, we know you are wacky. Like, of all the siblings, you got all the impulsivity. But do you think this is not a bit too far? And mm. I was like, I get what you're saying. I can see it. But I'm still going to do it. You're not going to stop me. Yeah, so like, like, it looks like a long shot. It sounds yeah, like a long shot. Set, but but you don't take the shot. You're not, you're not, yeah. not going to know, are you? So I moved down. Moved in with this lovely couple who are now my adopted grandparents. Aww. In Cardiff, Gwyn and Phil. Um, and even then, I couldn't go and do taekwondo because regulations wouldn't allow it so it was still zoom based with the odd session a week so you were doing zoom taekwondo classes even though i'd not even and you've never even kicked, well, well you did a the few sessions few sessions up until march um yeah. so doing on zoom was hard it was just trying to do the strength aspect of it trying to keep your strength strong and fit all the leg control yeah yeah just, <laughs> i hate leg control <laughs> it's all leg control this is all getting very get very geek, yeah it's all very yeah, technical yeah, for me this is I'm basically just kind of it's like... just the burn your hip exercise literally okay. it's all yeah. the hips um, so we were out going to and from Zooms and like face to face. And then December, it was December where they were like, the qualifiers wasn't originally in May. I'm sure it was in like January. And they'd spoken yeah, they to you. Yeah, they all got pushed it. back, didn't they? Did. they? Even the Olympic side got pushed back as okay. well. So they were speaking to me about going to them qualifiers. And again, I'm, things did happen so well for me yeah but everything you it rolled into the time reason, and yeah like but the timing was perfect but still because the qualifiers like you said was actually meant to be in 2020 before covid locked us all down but, so people who qualified actually wouldn't have been in that yeah, yeah. one, of the, thing, one, one of the things i'm thinking about here though you're obviously telling the, you know the story of how it all developed and yeah. that sort of thing was there ever, ever anything that goes through your head like what on earth is happening here? Because this is happening so fast. I'm so good at this. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of like, what what goes through your mind during all this period? Or do you just, is it just riding a wave? I mean, I'm, I'm intrigued. Yeah. Because I, I, I've never been an athlete of any sort. So for me to try and get my head in that mindset, and I'm sure like a lot of our listeners, this is alien territory. Yeah, I think because it was going so fast paced, I just didn't think. let myself think about it. It's only like when you were saying before about pinching yourself, mm. when I really think about it, you know, when you have that time to sit down and like really think, or you're explaining the story to someone, that's when you're like, oh, yeah, that was, that was mad. Like the like biggest way you've talking ever, back yeah, yeah. now. You're your biggest way you've ever read. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like there's definitely a story to tell the grandkids. Oh, what? Do you know what I mean? You know, you've got a story well, to tell the grandkids. To tell us. I'd, I'd, I'd bypass it if I were you. It's, it's not important. It's not important. It's not, important. important. <laughs> not, not in Sia kids. <laughs> do you know? But yeah, it's definitely riding the wave. So we've got to the point whereby you get to December, January. Just fill us in a little bit of the story as to what happens from there. So from January? Yeah. Um, I got accepted onto the team. So I trialed literally about two days before Christmas. Mm. And at the time, I'd not seen my family in four months. So I made the decision to move to Wales and I got stuck in Wales. Like the regulations hit again. So I couldn't get back to, to Liverpool. So not seeing my family in four months. And they said, oh, go and trial on like the 22nd, 23rd. And I was like, I've not seen my family. Are you sure? There's no other dates. Um, but anyway, I went and I'm glad I did because January they told me I was successful, but the funding was very thin because the cycle's obviously gone on for the extra year. 
So Anthony, being the blessing that he is from Disability Sport Wales, said he would give me the funds and needed until I proved myself, basically, until I approved myself within the sport. So I got angel back. Angel learning. Literally. Um, guardian angel getting me getting me ready. Um, so, yeah, that happened. Hands in my notice at the beginning of Feb. And, again, finished that job on a Friday from home in Liverpool because it was working from home. And started GB on the Monday. <laughs> Ended work Friday. Yeah, yeah, kicked yeah, people that weekend I moved to yeah, Manchester. Exactly. That weekend I moved to Manchester. Well, I mean, part of that, it's part, of, part of that to me sounds like perfect sense because we know the story, you know, from there, you go and win a silver at the Paralympic Games. But part of you at the time is probably thinking, what on earth? You're giving up that yeah. to kick people for a living. Yeah. Like, the, the, like we said about the mentality, though, like just to have that leap of faith as well is impressive and you don't see that off many people yeah you know i mean you don't even see that on many people in sport so like it shows like when you learn these kind of ways to live it it, it can give you that positive and that yeah life-changing experience mm. and mm. you took a leap of faith